to Liz McDonald, Todd Horowitz, and Mike Murphy. Now, this market has been dead flat. 31 straight days where the S&Ps move less than 1%. 31 straight days. We haven't had a flat period like this in decades. When is the breakout coming? And what will the breakout event be? I'm going to go around the table and start with you, Murphy. What event is the breakout event to get some movement? I think the breakout is to the downside. Uh, and I think what it's going to be is some sort of geopolitical event. If you remember last August, we had a 6% correction in the market one week uh, because of fears about China's growth. So I don't know if it's going to come from Europe. I don't know if it's going to come from Asia. But I do believe that the markets are ahead of themselves here. Earnings beat lowered expectations. They're not solid earnings. We're not seeing solid growth in the markets right now. So I think uh, the People are investing in the market because there's nowhere else to invest, okay. and at some point that's going to end. All right, Ted, uh, Todd, what do you say? What is the breakout event that moves the market up or down? Good morning, Stuart. I think that breakout will be to the downside. I think it will either be what Mike Murphy just said about a, an event we can't predict right now, or if the Fed does raise rates, that could create fear because the real problem we have here is too many people are buying stock on margin that don't have the money to cover the stock if the stocks start to go down. And that will create the effect of pushing it down when they are forced to sell. Yeah. So I think the next breakout is lower. Okay. Let's I think Mike and Todd are right. When China devalued the yuan in August of 2015, the market took a tumble, also on fears that the Fed were going, was going to raise rates higher than expected. If both of those things happen, the market will take a tumble. I think everyone's on the sidelines. Those are already in and kind of just waiting to see what happens next. Those that haven't got in are like, oh, this is too expensive, too toppy. I think the Fed is the big mover here. All right. And move to the up or the down? Down. All right. Oh, boy. Right. <laughs> Trump's <laughs> economic advisor, one of the top guys in the campaign, Steve Moore, said on this program yesterday, you elect Donald Trump, he puts in place his tax cuts, and you will have, I'm going to do this again, you will have 4% growth for five straight years. Now, that is a tall order. I'm going to go round the block all over again. Mike Murphy. 4% growth for five straight years? Absolutely. Uh, yes. If you take those types of tax cuts that Donald Trump is talking about and you apply them to this economy, it's poised like a spring to explode to the upside. We'll get real growth that we haven't seen in eight years. So that's the event, the election, which breaks out the market well, if Trump well, wins. Well, could, and he also has to get be. it through. You know, he has to get these things through. With a Republican Congress, he'd get it. Yes, well, listen, well, but yes under that scenario, oh, wait, but, but wait, it's like chasing the magic unicorn with the likes <laughs> of Harry Reid and Charles Rangel yeah. on tax reform. And there are still politicians like that. Yes, it would be great for yeah, percent growth. Look, if Trump is elected, and you've got a Republican Senate and Republican House, which you've got now, I mean, and that, they would stay that way if Trump's elected, you'll get these tax cuts. Uh, thin majorities, okay. Oh, Liz. Hey, Todd, come in, bail me out here. 4% <laughs> growth in each yeah. of the next five years if, if um, Trump is elected. What do you say? I say 100% that if, if we get more, listen, the bottom line is we don't have enough money in the system the flow. People aren't making money, they're not spending it. you got to cut their expenses mm -hmm. so they can spend more money, because American people want to spend. Yes. If they have it, they're going to spend yes. it. we got to get it spending to Spending it on health care. What's wrong with you, Liz? What is Nothing. wrong Nothing. I'm just you? realistic and pragmatic. <laughs> I just, Listen, I, I agree. I kind, it would be 4%. I kind of agree with growth, Liz. Which John F. Kennedy said was possible. He was for tax cuts. Listen if to he, Mike Murphy. If he could get, I, I agree with Liz here, because if he could get everything he's saying through, I, I think then you get that real yeah. growth. Whether or not he said. does it is a, a big concern. But well, if he won and if he got it through, it would springboard this economy. Before we move on, I'm going to point this yes. out. Yes. The <laughs> polls are narrowing. Hillary yes. Clinton's yes, lead is narrowing. Yes. And as of this morning, the Dow is up 92 points. Case closed. Now. <laughs>